It is sometimes thought that the only characteristic pigments provide to paint is the color. The reality is each pigment has a slightly different chemistry and can impart different visual qualities and working properties to paint. And when you start talking about earth colors, there is even greater temptation to simplify the concept of this category of pigments as just being ground up rocks or dirt. While it is true that some pigments come straight from mines, more and more earth pigments are being synthesized in labs or byproducts of unrelated manufacturing or refining processes. Pigments have always and will continue to evolve. Williamsburg is proud to offer artists one of the most extensive palettes of earth colors available anywhere. And they're not all brown, red, and yellow. There are greens, grays, and even violet that make our range of earth colors particularly deep. For example, we have more than 20 natural earths from their traditional sources in Italy and France. These connect artists with the European tradition of pigments from various regions, providing unique colors such as Italian Pompe Red and genuine Ardoir Gray made with French slate. And that's just the start. We make over 50 earth colors. Many are standards for most artist palettes like yellow ochre, raw umber, and burnt sienna, while others are a little outside the mainstream like terra verde, Italian pink, or blended colors like turkey umber. You could think of the earth colors as the workhorse of the palette. They're inexpensive and have excellent light fastness. As a pigment category, earth colors have relatively low tinting strength. This means they can be used as the base for more intense color mixtures or to modify mixtures slowly without making the paint too greasy or influencing the color too dramatically. Earth colors are particularly helpful because of their ability to neutralize other colors and make a wide variety of subtle tans, pinks, and grays. They are also faster drying, so as you plan your painting, particularly if you are choosing colors for underpainting, it helps to know that earth colors are among our fastest drying colors, with only a couple not in the fast or medium dry time category. Look in the description of this video for a link to our drying time chart. Of course, how fast a paint dries depends on a lot of factors, like the thickness of the application or the absorbency of the surface. But generally speaking, earth colors are an excellent choice for fast drying underpainting, or for mixing into colors that might otherwise take a long time to dry. The two basic types of earth pigments are natural mined pigments and synthesized pigments. Between those two, there is a wide range of transparency and opacity. Almost all the natural earth colors are semi-opaque and have good covering power that is coupled with a slight glow in their undertone. Ardois Gray and Terra Verte are exceptions, both beautifully transparent and useful in glazing or for dry scumbling. Synthetic pigments tend to be either very opaque, such as our Mars colors, or transparent. Mars colors come in an evenly spaced range of color from brownish yellow through red and violet into black. Transparent varieties are more in the yellow, red, and brown color space. Still de Grand, Italian pink, brown pink, and Dutch brown transparent, along with transparent red and yellow iron oxides, are not only unique for their earthy glow, but also represent the extremes in terms of pigment grind. Grind refers to the texture or relative smoothness or coarseness of paint. The first four transparent synthetic iron oxides we just mentioned are coarse. The physicality of the pigment can be felt on the brush and knife, and the dried surface of these colors will have a satin sheen, almost like velvet. On the opposite end of the spectrum, transparent red and transparent yellow iron oxide, as well as the Mars colors, are very smooth, which we call very fine. These dry more glossy. Natural earths have a texture that falls into the fine or medium categories. We have rated the grind of each of our colors and have a link to the Williamsburg grind chart in the description of this video. Be sure to look at our tube labels for additional information and to help differentiate one earth color from another. Tubes also have a hand-painted sample of each color with information on pigment, light fastness, and transparency opacity. There are so many earth colors to choose from, and even though earth colors are by definition more subdued, they are not all brown, yellow, and red. There is a wide range of beautiful earths to consider. We hope we've expanded your concept of what earth colors are and how they can be used within your painting. Thank you for watching, and feel free to email help at goldenpaints.com with any questions.